St. Clair County RESA presents Dateline Schools, hosted by Terry Harrington. This week our travels on Dateline Schools take us down to Riverview East High School in Marine City where we get the opportunity to meet the Distinguished Teacher of the Month for December and we're talking with our teacher, Jason Steyer. And, and Jason, I can congratulations first of all, and I can only Thanks, imagine Mary. the surprise and the shock <laughs> when uh, the entourage came in to award you in the, on the last Friday in December. Oh, to say the least, uh, it was an absolute shock. I you know I was in this flurry of activity in my classroom. Um, I had one of my, my students that was teaching a group of middle schoolers, so the room was just packed, and we were, you know, in the midst of it all, and in comes this entourage and uh, all people that I admire and respect <laughs> and have been inspired by uh, uh, throughout the years, so it was quite the surprise. Yeah. So how'd the students react? Oh, you know, just like they always do. They're always so supportive of, of everything that I do uh, inside and outside the classroom. Uh, so they were just overjoyed uh, just for that recognition that what we're doing here is important and, and noticed mm -hmm. by the community. And I can only imagine it was, uh, had to be a pretty good uh, Christmas gift for you, too, wasn't it? Oh, absolutely. You know, anytime we get additional support for the art room, um, it offers more opportunities for us to get more supplies, materials, and, and do more great things. Great. So give us a little background on Jason Steyer. How long have you been teaching, and has, has your career always been here in the East China School District? Uh, in fact, it has. And this past November marked 15 years. Wow. So uh, it's been a while. Uh, it seems like just a, just a flash in the pan, but uh, 15 years well spent, and you know I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Give us a little clue of what you're teaching to the kids, especially this school year. Um, so yeah, visual arts, and we have a really strong focus on community art, public art, and really looking at how creativity shapes our community and our world, and looking at ways that uh, students can take part in that. I know when students hear the word art, they kind of cringe unless you're really into that kind of stuff why do i have to take art but this has really become a, an important piece of the curriculum here at riverview is not it? i think it always has been and, and we do get a lot of that you know students who come in and if they if they're not confident with basic art skills like drawing or painting they feel that they're not creative or they're not a good artist uh, so that's the first step is, is changing that perception and, and showing the the various ways that people can be creative and and uh, just voice themselves in different mediums. And, uh, you know, we're all creative in some way. We're all artists. Uh, and we just have to find that in everyone. We'll be back with more tomorrow. For Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Hatch.